Hey guys, this is Samantha and welcome to the My Tampi channel. Today we are going to do a farm tour and cooking class here in La Fortuna. We're going to learn about some traditional Costa Rican food, so let's go. Our farm tour started off with a quick introduction to cacao and how they process cacao beans to make the sweet, delicious treat we know as chocolate. Cacao is extremely important to the indigenous communities of Costa Rica and it was fascinating to see what the actual cacao tree and the cacao fruit looks like. When the fruit is ready, they harvest and dry the beans which then get turned into chocolate, cacao butter and other chocolate products. We then ventured further into the farm to collect our first ingredient, cassava or yuca as it's called in Costa Rica. This is the first time I have ever seen yuca being pulled from the ground. Yuca is one of my favorite things to eat in Costa Rica, so it's really fascinating to see. Yuca is a very important food source in Costa Rica and is a big part of the Costa Rican diet. Yuca can be made into fries, chips, mash like mashed potatoes, a fried croquette, and many other delicious things. It is a tuberous root, which means to harvest it, you have to pull it out of the ground. We love yuca, but have never had the chance to see it harvested, so we are super excited to try it for ourselves. It is definitely a lot harder than it looks. Something fascinating about this tuberous root is that you can just put back a part of the shrub in the ground, bury it, and then it'll grow more roots which you can harvest later. Next, our guide showed us a type of taro that they grow, and also some pineapples, which is another very important crop of Costa Rica. Now we are going to go check out some plantains. Plantains are another important food in the Costa Rican diet. In Costa Rica, they usually fry the plantains in oil and eat it as a side dish since they have a nice soft texture when cooked and have a sweet flavor. Even though they look like bananas, they don't have the banana flavor. Next, our guide showed us the curcuma root, which is where turmeric comes from. And then we also picked some oregano to use for our lunch. We just finished the farm part of the tour. And so now we're gonna go to the kitchen and learn how to prepare the ingredients that we just picked. The tour runs in the morning and the afternoon, and as we did the tour in the afternoon, we went to go make a traditional Costa Rican lunch. So they print out a re the recipe that of the dish that they're going to make here, and then they let the clients take it home with them so they can make it back at home. One of the reasons why we really enjoyed this farm tour is that we got to see exactly where the food we cooked came from. We picked the ingredients ourselves, cleaned it, cut it, seasoned it, and cooked it. It's extremely satisfying to see a delicious meal that you prepared come together, all the way from the farm to the table, since nowadays people are more disconnected from what they eat as we just buy everything we need from the supermarket. But on this La Fortuna cooking class, we got to see what the trees and plants looked like. We learned how to grow it, how to harvest it, how to cook it, which was an extremely enlightening experience. We have just finished making our juca chips. And so actually we are not going to film the rest of the cooking class because we're going to make a chicken and a couple other side dishes. We want you guys to come and experience this class for yourself. So I'm gonna say thank you so much to Nimoska for teaching us how to make all these delicious dishes. If you guys want more information about this tour, all the info will be in the links below. Thanks for watching.